What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my PlayStation 2019 wrap up. Let's get right into this. Okay, so this is something that PlayStation has been doing for a few years now, and that is giving gamers their end of the year stats and sharing everything for the previous year of all the trophies they earned, what was their top games and top genre, and things like that. And I absolutely love that PlayStation does this because as a heavy gamer, I like to compare year after year how my gaming was from the previous year to the current year. So... I know this past year I've gamed quite a bit, but I've also had a full-time job, so I'm pretty excited to see what my stats are. Let's just get into it here. Uh, as soon as you log in to your account on the website, this is what you should see. It should say your PlayStation name, and it should say this is your PlayStation 2019 wrap-up. And basically all you're going to do is scroll down and look through all of your stats. So I'm going to, I'm kind of interested to see if it's going to be like last year's where it compares the year before or it compares month to month how your gaming was. Let's just check it out and scroll down. So the first thing, I played 74 different games throughout 2019. That sounds 100% accurate because I was playing a lot of the free PS Plus games that you get. I was playing a lot of the games that I purchased throughout the year and also a lot of the backlogged games that I've trying to clear up. So 74 games does sound about right for me. My top games for 2019, first is WWE 2K19 with 477 hours. Again, that sounds spot on because I played a lot of WWE 2K19 this past year, clearly, because it shows. But I played a lot of universe mode. Normally with WWE games, of course I get them every year. But normally I only play one or two years worth of universe mode. This year I think I played five or six years worth. And that's just story development and matches and just planning everything out. So I had a lot of fun with that. Of course, career mode, the showcase mode, and everything else the game has to offer. So that sounds like about right where I was gaming because I know I played it quite a bit. Uh, the second top game does not make any sense for me. That is Fortnite with 169 hours. Because for 2019, I stopped playing Fortnite near the end of February or the end of March. Um, or sometime in March, so I only played within the first three months of 2019, and then I stopped playing Fortnite just because I kind of got burnt out on it, I didn't want to play it anymore, and now I don't really care that much for Battle Royale games, except for Apex Legends, that one's pretty fun, but Fortnite, playing the player versus player, the regular online Battle Royale mode, uh, that is free, I do not enjoy that whatsoever anymore, um, but 169 hours in the first three months of 2019, I was not expecting that, especially for that one to be my top two. And the third top game is NBA 2K19 with 69 hours. Again, I was not expecting this one to be up there either. I know I played uh, franchise mode quite a bit uh, with my new team. I was playing the career mode a little bit. I was playing online with Jack here and there. But I didn't expect it to be my third top game. I did expect WWE to be number one. I honestly expected NHL 18 to be my second game because I played about 20 to 25 seasons worth of GM mode this past year. I played about five or six seasons of my player mode, so that's a lot of NHL. I expected that my numbers to be a lot higher for NHL this past year, but I guess it is what it is. So WWE number one, Fortnite number two, and NBA 19 for number three. My top genre was fighting games, of course, WWE, that many hours makes sense. Apparently I played five games, uh, it doesn't really specify what games those were. I earned three trophies, which makes sense because I purchased the game in 2018, so I probably earned most of my trophies as soon as I bought the game, and a total of 502 hours on fighting games. I clocked in 1900 hours of gaming, which for me is impressive just because I also have a full-time job, I work night shifts, and just recently my hours have been going down because it's that time of the year, January, that my hours usually dip. So I was expecting this, but before this I was 40 hours a week, so to have that, and also juggling my gaming life, of course 1900 hours of gaming this past year, plus my social life and everything else that I have to do, that's, that's pretty cool for me. 
Uh, throughout the year, I played 318 days. I expected that to be a lot higher because I didn't feel like I missed any days. Even some days I just play for one or two hours just to relax for my me time before work. Uh, local hours, 1,824. That's just playing on my own. And 76 hours online. I'm assuming most of that was with Jack because I don't really play much online games anymore. Unless I'm trying to clear up trophies and stuff like that. No VR hours because I don't own a VR. I don't have any intentions of purchasing one. And my longest streak was 11 gaming hours, which I don't know about that. I, um, I know during the days, sometimes I'll leave my system on and I'll leave it on a game. And if I have to leave the house, run errands, I come back, I might play a few matches, of whatever I'm playing. Or I might do things around the house or edit videos or just watch some Netflix while I leave my system on. And then I'll just play it whenever I have a chance to. So... I'm assuming that's where most of that came from. My prime time to play was Friday afternoons. I remember last year, I can't remember what day it was, but it was nights. But since I work nighttime now, that it makes sense for afternoons because I always play before work at least one or two hours worth uh, while I'm relaxing before I go back to work that night. I earned 965 trophies for 2019. Now something tells me that it's missing the last two to three weeks of the stats for the end of the year because, of course, they have to gather all of that information and they also have to put everybody's information in this format on the website to share with everyone. So I'm assuming the last two to three weeks of December, they just didn't include those stats because I know I was grinding out. I really wanted to hit 1,000 trophies. And I kept track of my trophies this year because at the end of 2018, I ended with 1,800 trophies even. So I know I earned 1,036 trophies this past year from January 1st, 2019 till December 31st, 2019. So that's why I'm saying they're missing the first or the last three weeks of the year, probably to gather the information. Uh, 13 Platinums this past year, that is spot on. I tried to earn as many Platinums as I could. I cleaned up a lot of my backlogged games. And for 2020, I plan on getting, hopefully, 20 Platinums this year. I'm already at four, so I'm doing pretty good. But I'm hoping to get a few more. My digital savings were only $55. Again, this is why I'm feeling like there's two to three weeks missing at the end of the stats. Because for the holiday sales and the end of the year sales for the PlayStation Store... I did purchase quite a few games, I shared that here on the channel, so I'm assuming my savings would be closer to 200, so I'm assuming they're missing the past three weeks of the end of the year. Uh, I downloaded 16 free monthly games, which I made a video sharing what games I enjoyed for the free PS Plus games for the year, and it kind of ranked them, so I enjoy getting the free games. Of course, it helps me try out new games or try games that I didn't really feel like purchasing, giving them a chance, and some games that are free for PS Plus are honestly a lot of fun. My top game played online with PS Plus was Battlefield 5 for 12 hours online. That makes sense. I honestly felt like that game was going to be a lot more hours, but I absolutely love Battlefield online and just playing it because it's a spot-on game. Uh, last year, the PS Plus games offered were 24 total again there was some that i missed some that i wish i just purchased or sorry downloaded because they're free i wish i downloaded them just to give them a chance but i did miss some so for this year 2020 i'm going to hopefully download as much as i can every month i'll try to download all of the games just to try a whole bunch and try to get more of a variety and try to find the gems that are games that i wasn't expecting to enjoy to play um, and then now it's suggesting PlayStation Now, which it does this every year. It'll suggest PlayStation Now and PlayStation Music. PlayStation Music, I have no intention on getting because if I'm gaming, I want to listen to music. I'll use my laptop and use either YouTube or my iTunes accounts to use music and listen to it while I'm gaming. PlayStation Now, however, I do plan on getting in the future. I was actually going to get it by the end of uh, 2019 just to start off 2020 strong with a bunch of games, but... Because I have so much backlogged games on my PlayStation already, I decided to hold off. I'm, I'm predicting right now about six months, hopefully halfway through the year I'll get PlayStation now. Just so that gives me a little bit of time to clear up my backlog of games before I get PlayStation now. Because like it says here, 800 games on PlayStation now.
that's a lot of games for me to try out. And then it just says for the 2019, my title was Legendary Warrior, and it gives just kind of like a breakdown. So 74 games, 1900 hours, 965 trophies. And I've already done this where you can redeem your prizes. Basically, you go in, redeem your prizes, it gives you a little uh, code. You can either redeem right on the website or you can log into your PlayStation and enter that code. What it gives you is a theme, which the theme is pretty cool. But I already enjoy my theme that's on it, which I believe is the 2018 PlayStation E3 theme, where it's kind of the stars in the background in the shape of the PlayStation um, symbols. So I really like that theme, but it gives you a theme and it gives you, I think, eight avatars to choose from, which are really cool. So the one that you see right next to where it says all this information on my screen, that's the one I'm currently using, the X with the warrior on it. That to me looks cool. And then it says some games that are coming to PlayStation. So these were my gaming stats for 2019. Honestly, I had an amazing year. I love gaming. I love whenever PlayStation gives us this option to see what our stats were for the previous year. And I love sharing them every year with you guys on my channel because I am a heavy gamer. And my stats this year show that. So I can't wait to see what I do for 2020 for gaming. I have a lot of games that I want to finish off and clear up my backlog. I have a lot of games that I want to platinum and I want to try out PlayStation Now to add a whole bunch more games to my list of games to try out and play. Hopefully earn a lot more trophies, but comment down below what your games were for 2019 that you loved the most, what you had for your stats for 2019, for your hours and games played and how many trophies you played and earned for 2019. But I'm going to leave this video here. I'm going to leave the link to this to find out your stats in the description down below, just in case you can't find it online. You can look in my description and you'll be able to find the link to your account to see your stats. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care. Peace.